from drones to drainage, vehicles to virtual reality. West Tech in Barcaldine showcases the latest and greatest in Australian agriculture. A lot of people can Google and can learn about things and you can ring up suppliers and all the rest of it, but to actually go and physically see something is still so important for people. Michael Thurkoff is a first time exhibitor drawing crowds, making water tanks on site from start to finish in three hours. People are kind of mesmerised by the workings of the machine. His business can build tanks at regional depots or on properties, saving landholders huge amounts in freight. So we can send out a semi, let's say 40 tonne, make 100 tanks, um, with two trucks, one trip. At this tent, virtual reality is helping to change the face of agricultural and scientific education, transporting students from the classroom to the cane fields and bio-waste processing facilities of Mackay. What they'll be seeing is a 360 degree view of the facility. It's a three storey facility, you can walk through it, uh, you can hear from people who work in the facility how the equipment works. And of course, field days remain the best way to showcase the bread and butter of the pastoral industry. Most times you don't hear much on the day, but then you'll have a phone call. I saw you at West Tech, oh, I like that bull. You know, can, can, where can we get one? A lot has changed since the event was last held in 2017. Stuff for goats. So that's an industry that's really taken off in the last four years. Organisers say the community run event will be back. It couldn't die. They wouldn't let it. <laughs> Madeline McCosker, ABC News, Barcaldine.